think about it, it's the details in our lives that really matter. In life, and especially in our relationships, it's the small things, much more than the big things, that make all the difference. So, when someone loves us, if they know the small things, that's what really counts. If they know things like what we, ha what we hung on our walls when we were 12 years old, or if they know what it is that's worrying us so much or having trouble sleeping at night, or just things like what we would order at a restaurant when we're feeling just that little bit adventurous. These are the type of things that make all the difference, these small things, things like when was the last time we cried and, and why. It's when people know these things and love us, not despite these things, but all the more because of these things. That's when we know that the love is real. And more than we can possibly imagine, that is precisely the way God loves us. In the Christian scriptures, it's consistently affirmed that God knows intimately the details of our lives. So in Psalm 139, we read that God knows when we sit, when we rise. God knows our coming and our going. God knows our thoughts. God knows the words we speak. God knows us more than we can imagine, more than anyone else knows us, because God created us and God loves us. Then the Gospel of John, we hear this, God who created us has become one of us, has become human. The Gospel writer John says it this way, the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Essentially, the Creator became part of the creation, became human, and jumped into the story. The storyteller jumped into the story. God has pitched his tent right smack dab in the middle of humanity. And because he has, he knows all the details of our lives, all those little idiosyncrasies. He knows it all because he's lived a human life. And so in the person of Jesus, God knows us, those details, and God loves us. The Thomas brand of English muffins is called Nooks and Crannies. It's a brilliant and a very British name for what is a brilliant and a very British food. It's the perfect name because it's the nooks and crannies which make the English muffin. Because when you toast, when you toast that muffin to perfection, what you end up with is all these little holes and these little crevices. And those little holes and crevices get filled with whatever you put on top and that gets down into that muffin so it's a bunch of ooey, eggy goodness down into all those nooks and crannies. And it's those nooks and crannies which make all the difference for the English muffin. Just like it's those nooks and crannies which make all the difference in our lives, it's those details, those idiosyncrasies known only to a few, but all of them are known to God, and God is present to us in all of those details, knows all those little tidbits of our stories, knows all those things that only a few people know, and God's presence pervades all of those details. And God loves us not in spite of those things, but all the more because of them. God loves us because of all those nooks and crannies, every one of them, and is present to us. <laughs>